Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So last month, Megan Thee Stallion was back and forth with DJ Academics on Twitter regarding her current case against Tory Lanez where she alleged that he caused harm to her. Rapper Joe Button, or former rapper Joe Button, he has a podcast called Joe Button Podcast. He got on his podcast about about close to a month ago and stated that there is actually a tape of the incident that happened that night and that the industry knows that someone is lying. I'm not going to go deep into details about the incident that happened that night, but when it did first happen, people with status, they distanced themselves from Tory. They turned their backs on Tory. Uh, on Tory. Uh, and now those same individuals, Drake in particular, started popping back up with Tory. And he's worked, he worked with Tory since then. Joe Button stated that those brand conscious people would not be be around or standing near Tory if he did what Megan said he did to her. So I just want to know I, I, I'm going to find a different word, different way of saying if she lied. I just want to know if her story is different from what occurred, what actually occurred that night. I always say that my readers are for entertainment purposes only and it, it may not resonate with you all. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, ancestors. Spirit, please show me the energy surrounding Megan Pete's story about Daystar Peterson causing harm to her. Did Megan tell a different story than what actually occurred? Look, out the gate, we got the Ace of Swords in reverse. This card is talking already. We know this card here is about truth in its righteous position, but it's in reverse. So, we got some lies going on. Spirit, thank you. Is Megan's story different than what actually occurred? Did they start cause harm to her spirit that night? Show me, spirit. This is someone selfish. They they want someone to lose out. Yeah, they want to take away somebody's coins. Show me the energy surrounding that night. Did they start cause harm to Megan's spirit? We got the High Priestess, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. Thank you, spirit. This is about secrets. This is a woman with secrets that, that wants to make something that didn't happen to happen she is navigating with subconscious and not conscious beliefs which means that something that she believes happened this woman she was in an emotional affair that didn't that didn't make it to physical the emotional connection was so strong that she was unable to unable to move on she wanted to make this person she was in the emotional affair with hers and only hers. This high priestess feelings tends to change a lot or often. She don't know she don't know what what she feels. So she tends to to ride the highs and lows of her feelings which makes it hard for her to properly explain or understand herself. She wanted stability within a relationship because it it made her feel secure. This high priestess has a mysterious nature and she's very calculating. She, she wanted to be in control. This is someone being defensive, the Seven of Wands. 
and they are protecting their point of view. This person had the the upper or or the advantage position and they are in demand. It's like they are teaching someone a lesson. This person, they felt hurt when it came to matters of the heart. They are at eye at odds with their peers. They they have a message to convey and they they teach somebody a lesson because they knew that it would stir up controversy. They needed to assert themselves to get their point across. They they feel like they they are better than others, like that they have more skills in a more important status than others. I feel like they have more people on their side, more important people on their side than than the next person. So this person thinks they're all that because they have famous people on their side. Ten of Swords in reverse. Someone is holding on to pain inflicted by others. They just can't let go of that inflicted pain and deliberately sabotage someone. Someone, someone was lured into a deliberate plot where they became the scapegoat and take the blame for other people's misconduct or stories. This person that is holding on to this pain that is being defensive here. Their their story is worn down. And that story is going to cost them. They they are scared of things coming to light. That they they live in constant worry and anger by, by things slowly coming to surface. It's like if something something comes out that they don't want it to come out, they they hurry up, they own it. They they become a very defensive, very defensive person. Because their reputation is dwindling and they are they playing playing mind games as a way to salvage that reputation. They will leave people that support them disappointed. The people that support them will be very disappointed. They need to just go ahead and admit what really occurred. But they, they won't. They won't admit it. They won't admit the truth. They, they want to keep them secrets. Because they are a victim. They are they, they, they want that victim persona and will just find themselves exhausted. They're gonna find themselves exhausted as a result of trying to be this victim. The energy is of an artist that's flashy. This person brags about their achievements and accomplishments. There was overwhelming passion. A, a very profound sexual and sensual sensual experience that that touched deeply and negatively it, it negatively caused a trigger there was intense emotions in someone they had an immature handling of difficult um, I don't want to say difficult actions it's like they, they acted on these emotions. They wanted someone to feel what they were feeling and they felt unburdened about it. They, they didn't care. Because they didn't care because they feel like they have a strong protector on their side. Yeah, someone is overly dominant. Yeah, they're... they're they have overly dominant behavior and 
they turn someone else into like a passive person. Which ended up not being good for either. This person wanted to be in control. Like, they wanted to like make that person obey them. They wanted to exploit that person. I'm trying to be non-biased, but this is horrible. This is so horrible. Trying to end someone's establishment's career because you were hurt. That's not cool. Not cool at all. But someone was irresponsible towards someone else. They 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 wanted this person to to be the underdog underdog and, and turn them turn everyone against them. But that's going to soon pass. It's going to soon pass. This woman is holding a secret. She is holding a secret. And she want things to stay that way. But there will be a there will be a slow transformation of status quo for someone. Slowly but surely, things are going to transform for this person. Back to not completely back to the way it was, but things is gonna go back back to being good for them. They will gain like a stable foothold and a sense of groundedness. This person that will gain a foothold will be happy with the status quo. They will they will be in a state of stability and happiness. There will be a celebration of having reached a happy ending for them. Thank you, Spirit. So we have an idea why Meg's story was different than what actually occurred. But let's see why. Spirit, thank you. Please show me why Meg and Pete told a story that was different than what actually occurred. Why did she do that, Spirit? Why did she tell a story? We got this Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody is not being truthful. She wanted to be in control. She wanted a plan. Why is her story different than what actually occurred in spirit? Because she felt burdened by something. Something really bothered her. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is like lack of reward. Someone, they really they, they invested in a, a wrong situation and realized that they, they didn't get that reward that they wanted. There is wanting some someone or something to have a lack in projects. They want somebody to lose money and work. The consequence is for someone to become unemployed. Someone has uh, low self-worth and they don't care about causing problems for others. They want someone to be unable to enjoy the pleasures of life and, and have few friends. They lie to cover up what really happened. They enjoyed that lie. In the beginning, they enjoyed that lie. They enjoyed being that victim. They enjoyed that attention. But now, they are finding it hard to enjoy. The goal, the, the, the goal was unclear as to why. Someone wanted to make make one's way out of confusion and they wanted to persevere. 
They wanted to stick with that plan. We seen Dor Shuffle the Ace of Wands. They had a plan. And they wanted to stick with that plan. But their desires and motives uh, are unclear. They they use deception to reach a goal. Someone was attracted to someone else. Uh, they were power hungry, goal mo motivated, ruthless, calculated, egotistical, inconsiderate, diplomatic, and manipulative. This person felt insecure and desperate and they wanted to come out on top. They wanted that power and they wanted others to accept what they say. They wanted to dominate forces their way, but the solution will be found soon and there will be knowledge found about this person that, that wanted power. People will find out about that person. There will be knowledge about how they use their charisma and, and the power, I guess we can say, to get what they wanted. There will be an awareness of someone's secrets and their obvious plans. Someone will prove their self as someone else's luck will run out. People already grew suspicious that, that things were not as this person presented it. People already, they, they already started to, to, to realize the truth. Y'all, this is too much. And this is, this is disingenuous. But let's get a message. Spirit, thank you. Can I please have a message in regards to Megan Pete's story about Tory Lane's harming her spirit? Can I please have a message? 